Well, let's do right, let's do outside nine. Well, we have some more news on the Monsters movie, perhaps the final news on the Monsters movie. We have confirmed it is going directly to Netflix, so it's not doing um, a theatrical run at all. No day and date, nothing like that. Um, it's going straight to Netflix. Now, people, I don't, I don't know, I assumed it was going to theatres. Um, I don't know if other people assumed it was going straight to Netflix or if it was talked about, but um, I assumed it was going to be both. It was going to have a small theatrical run at least and then go to Netflix. So, yeah, because when they released the trailer, it was um, kind of noticeably missing that there was no um, date and um, really no details um, about the actual when and where it was appearing. Would it go to theatres? Was it, you know, what date was it? Pretty on Netflix, that's pretty on Netflix, uh, which is also the same network which is going to have the Wednesday series. So people are talking about competition between the Addams Family and the Monsters again because they were on TV at the same time back between 64 and 66. And um, this time they're both going to be on Netflix. So they're not competing, they're on the same platform. And they're different formats. One's a movie, a once-off. Uh, one's a TV series, I'm assuming, weekly. I don't know if they're going to drop the whole season as one, in which case it will be more similar where people will have to choose between do they watch the Evans Family or... <sighs> I can't say it. The Monsters, because really, neither of them appears to be the Adams Family or the Monsters, really. Um, the Wednesday series seems to be like a Monster High supernatural series, and Wednesday's just one of the players in it, and the family's in the background. And the Monsters is a parody. Um, and it's not surprising that it's going straight to Netflix, because it's... I can't imagine anyone would have seen this footage. And this film, some people pointed out in some um, reviews that were talking about um, the trailer and that, just how long they were filming and the suggestion that there were some problems and they maybe were doing a lot of reshoots or um, rearranging things about the film because it may not have been working. And it did film for like 10 months or something. It was like really long. Um, so that looked a bit weird. And there did seem to be a question. I thought there was a question whether it was going to go to theatre or not. And I'm guessing that the fact it looks like it was filmed on somebody's iPhone and um, looks like a high school teen's parody of the show with bad makeup and colourful lighting that looks really cheap. Um, some people tried actually lightening up the, the um, trailer, making it, sorry, black and white, um, and it did have an effect on some level. It still looked bad, though, so I'm not surprised. Now, Rob Zombie put up out a post, he said... This fall, we are going to spook out like it's 1964. Yep, the Munsters and the Addams Family are returning to the boob tube at the same time, courtesy of Netflix. It's been 58 years since the clash of the Titans first happened. Perfect entertainment for your pumpkin-carving party. Check out this wicked fall preview issue of TV Guide for the 1964-65 season I found while cleaning. Wacky monster fans unite. The Munsters, the Addams Family, Rob Zombie, Tim Burton. So, yeah, so it's a little bit surprising. Um, it was done by Universal's 1440-4400 Entertainment banner, which typically handles the studio's home media releases. This led many of us to believe that the movie would eventually stream on Peacock. That's right, yeah, people were assuming it was going to be on Peacock, and I thought it was going to get a small um, movie release. I just, it's a movie. You refer to it as a movie, you assume it's going to go to the theatre at some point. Um, but back in May, uh, apparently, um, Bloody Disgusting said it was going to be on Netflix, said they bought the rights to the film, although, um, no one addressed it, um, and Rob Zombie only just addressed it today. Uh, it's going to debut sometime in September, so it will be up in time for, um, um, Halloween, I nearly said Easter. Halloween, um, which is what he's referring to with the season and everything. And also oh, far as his, um... TV guide thing. He has just has a poster of um, Rob Zombie film The Monsters coming to Netflix and a new live action series directed by Tim Burton Wednesday coming to Netflix. Just the two little posters, um, which I don't know. I might make that my um, I might make that my thumbnail. I don't know. But yeah, I'm disappointed it's not going to theaters. I wanted to see it in the theater, but then again, I wouldn't be going anyway because of you know what. So I would have missed it. So I guess it's. Kind of a relief, they didn't make a great film and didn't release it in the cinemas because then I would have missed it. So now we're just getting a bad Netflix film, which I can watch at home on um, my TV anyway. But um, it's not the end. The fact Universal is willing to put $40 million into this production um, does show that the monsters are not dead. And um, there is still um, some life left in them. And maybe they'll get 
a Netflix or series after this or something like that. Um, it would be nice to see that. Something akin to the Monsters, the Monsters Today, but just, you know, a little bit more, you know, production-wise, a little bit more of a budget. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Well, I'm going to go feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. I'm disappointed by this really cheap-looking parody, but... Um, like I said, it does give hope that we'll get something else better later on. So I'm just going to try and focus on what's coming next. Um, because this looks like this looks worse than any of the other films or anything that have been done afterwards. Um, and the original series looks ten times, ten times better than this production-wise, everything. <sighs> I'm going to go. Bye.